Hey guys, what's up? It's Josh Mall with Swimming Pool Science, and I am here about uh, 1,500 feet above beautiful Telluride, Colorado, up on Tomboy Road. It's the end of May, and we have really just reached as far as we can drive up this road. So, and um, here's the thing: I've got to figure out how the heck I'm going to turn my truck around. But I brought my test kit with me. I figured we'd test this snow runoff water and find out how much calcium's in it, and get an idea if we're total dissolved solids, and then we'll test it farther downstream and see if that's changed. All right, guys, found a good little spot to test from right here. The snow is coming, or the water, the snow runoff is coming right out of this chunk of unmelted snow. So that's what we're going to test. And we're going to do, we're going to do pH, we'll do alkalinity, and we'll do calcium because this one's about water balance. And so it really doesn't have much to do with sanitation or anything like that. But what I'm curious is to see firsthand exactly what happens, what the difference is, the, cal the, the calcium content of the water, the pH, and all that good stuff. So let's, uh, let's do that. Here we yeah, go. We'll do a saturation index and we'll assume the water is just a few degrees above freezing. We'll call it, we'll call it 30 degrees. So let's do our five drops in here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, there are five drops of that. Put our lid on. Oh no, we got a sad kid over here. All right, let's swish it around, shake it up, take a look, take your sunglasses off, don't forget. Up to the blue sky, wherever you can find it, that's about as blue as we're gonna get. And I know it's hard to tell from the video, to me it looks like a 7.8 to an 8.0. Almost a solid 8.0, we'll call it 8. Uh, be not good for the environment. Okay, next up guys, we're gonna do alkalinity. We wanna find out your saturation index. And we're gonna see if this water is corrosive or scaling. So let's tip that out. Just right. Let's see here. Where are we at there? Oh, we need just a touch more water. Maybe we can do this. Ready? Okay. Oh, all right. Let's go back to where we were. And I'm curious. The calcium hardness is the big one that I want to see. Dang it. All right. I can't get acquired. Let me give me a minute, guys. I got to put the camera down. And we'll make sure this. I stay in the picture. Yeah. All right, guys. We're ready to test alkalinity. So. We know there's no chlorine in here, so I'm just not even gonna use my thiosulfate. We're putting that one away. Let's do our five drops of green. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. All right, five drops of green in there. Okay, all right, let's see how many drops here. Here we go, you guys watching? Yep. One, two, three, so alkalinity, 30 parts per million. What does that mean? That means this water's pH could change at a moment's notice. Any little thing can change that water's pH. So let's do our saturation index wheel. Alkalinity's 30 parts per million. It's time for calcium harvest. Dad, that looks like a record. I know, right? All right, let's rinse it out. Do calcium hardness and... Get it right where we want it. Here we go. Okay. 20 drops of this because I have a feeling our calcium harness is going to be very low. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And five drops of. Number 11 on the Taylor bottle. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. All right, let's swirl that around. Get her dye nice and in there. And let's start counting. Each, dro each drop's gonna count for 10 parts per million. I don't think we're going to get very far. It won't be like a swimming pool. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. We're up to 50 parts per million. Six. Seven. Now you have to do eight. Okay, seven. 70 parts per million on the calcium. And as we know, are you still feeling? As we know, 
Any water in a swimming pool below 200 parts per million on the calcium is extremely corrosive and it's gonna leach your plastic, your pebble tank until there's nothing left of it and all you got is gunite left after a long time. So let's run our saturation index on the wheel. We know our alkalinity was 30 parts per million. So let's see our calcium hardness was 70. Okay, up to 30. Okay, our temperature, we're gonna basically call it just above freezing, which is uh, 30-ish degrees. So we're going just off the scale a little bit. So needless to say, this is, this is very corrosive water. This is very, very corrosive water. And if you were to put this in a swimming pool, you could say goodbye to your surface. So this water is very calcium hungry. It's very mineral hungry. It's gonna be picking up minerals on its way down. And as that temperature warms up, that rate at which it's gonna pick up minerals is actually gonna slow down. And at some point, um, that water will get warm enough, it'll actually deposit its minerals downstream somewhere. So that's how these glaciers and, and, um, and the summer snowpack, that's how it carves through mountains. Is this water is so cold and so calcium hungry, so mineral hungry and corrosive that it just eats the rocks right up as it comes down. And then as it warms up, that starts to diminish. So just a uh, little thingamabob we're doing here up at uh, 12 or so thousand feet, having a little fun. So, all right guys, we'll see you back in Phoenix. Thanks, buddy. All right, you ready to get out of here? But that I gonna do a video. Oh yeah, okay, too. you're gonna do a video for you, okay. Um, I, I'm Miles Mall, and we're up in the mountains, and I'll show you what I'm doing. Yes, it is. That's the end, buddy. That's no, all we have room for. Okay, we'll keep going. Tell us what you, tell us what's happening, Miles. Oh, you did it. Good job, buddy. Okay, tell us the conclusion.